Hello there, I am Giant Grode with more Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we got to start a Pokemon. Ah, man. Yeah, that was a stupid rat to level 2. Okay, so we got to start a Pokemon. It was Pikachu. Our Pokemon, our Pokemon should have been Eevee, but Sean took the Eevee and we got the Pikachu, which I like Pikachu more than Eevee in this game as a starter. I don't know, it's just Pikachu's pretty cool. So, uh, if you talk to him, he's kind of like... I don't know, he's kind of back and forth about you right now. I think if you lose against your rival, he'll like turn around and like the box will have a turned around Pikachu and he'll just not even look you in the eye. So you don't want to lose the first battle because you want Pikachu to love you, you know, but to get to that point, you, know, you, guys, you, get, you guys just gotta trust each other and get to know each other. That was a Pidgey level 3, so that's pretty cool. Oh, are you kidding me? Three encounters? Well, to be honest, three encounters going back to Virginia City is kind of normal. And it's kind of like the minimum, like a two, you could probably get, maybe you could probably get through, uh, well, I think three is the minimum, really, for that, but who am I to say? Okay, so here's the Pokemon Center. You just want to talk to the nurse, who's Nurse Joy, of course. You can assume that's Nurse Joy, because he has a little Chansey in there, uh, next to her. And it's kind of like the anime, really. This is pretty cool. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon back to full perfect health. Back to perfect, like perfect health. Shall we hear your Pokemon heal? Yes, of course. Pikachu will go on the counter and he'll go back. He'll go in his Pokeball. Well, I think in Gen 1 there was no genders, so there was, was like an it. They weren't, they were genderless, you know, first generation. Yeah, uh, we hope to see you again. Yeah, cool. Thank you. For, I think she said thank you for waiting, you know. I just kinda just skipped over that though. Yeah, I think Pokemon and Gen 1 are just genderless. Because I don't see a male or female sign. So, items. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put our town map in the PC real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I explained why we put, I put, I'm going to put the town map in our PC, which I just did. It's in our PC right now. Because you can only hold up to 20 items in this game. So yeah, we don't even get Pokeballs from Professor because we have to buy our own. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's see, buy... Let's buy uh, five Pokeballs. Uh, potions, let's buy two more potions. So we have four, I think. Last time I checked. Wait, we should have four. And this is the cheap, I'll buy three. Prowess heals. Let's buy uh, just one for now, I guess. And uh, we don't need burn heals, really. I don't think there's really any fire types in the game. First part of the game, actually. So, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be catching two new Pokemon in this part, hopefully. Well, I will actually. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, though. Um, but right over here is uh, an item. It's a potion. It's like hidden in the bush, though, that you can cut down. So it's in the potion. Awesome. Da -da 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 -da. I like that chime. Yeah. And then you could also go over to the, um, you know, the... Uh, the elder guy and then the daughter, I believe. He was... He, at first, before you take on... Uh, before you get the Pokedex, I think that uh, he'll be lying down and say, This is private property, you can't pass or something like that. But now, since you actually got the Pokedex, he'll actually teach you how to catch a Pokemon. So yeah, but we will do that later, because I want to actually catch two more Pokemon, do a little training session, and then take on a rival again. Because you can actually take on your rival again for a second time right here, actually. Right in front of Victory Road, actually. Or the Pokemon League, uh classification area I guess you could say to make sure they check for like all your badges so don't even go to the Pokemon League because you don't even have a single badge at this point you know I think Rival even brings that up so yeah and this op th this Rival Battle is actually optional let's see if this is the Pokemon we need is it that's a Nidoran female okay okay that's not the one we want we want a Nidoran male so yeah and I guess, if I, I, sorry, I didn't make this quite clear. I think I just mumbled it just a second ago, but this second rifle battle is actually optional. You don't have to, uh, do it. It's optional, but it's good for your experience, I guess. And I'm just gonna do it just to show it off, you know, cause I always do this, I always do this rival battle anyway. Just cause. There goes the Nerona female. Storm is in the level 7, yay. Cool. Cool. Let me see if I can find those Pokemon I want. The two Pokemon I want in this area. Right here is Nidoran male. Okay, cool. It's level two. Okay. So hopefully Thundershock doesn't faint it. Uh, okay, good. It's gonna use the weir on us. Okay. 
I wish I had Thunder Wave right now. That'd be cool. But I don't. But Storm doesn't know Thunder Wave yet. Okay, so let's go for the Pokeball. Hopefully, this is enough to weaken it down. But uh, you never know. One, two, three. We caught it. Yeah, Nidoran Mail. Okay. New data was added to the Pokedex for Nidoran. Cool. Nidoran's the poison pin Pokemon. Uh, its height is one foot eight inches tall. It's one feet eight inches tall, I should say. It weighs twenty pounds. Wow, that little thing weighs twenty pounds. <laughs> okay, whatever. That's number thirteen in the Pokedex. Its uh large ears are always kept upright if it, it senses danger. It will attack with a poisonous sting. You wanna give the name to Nidoran male? Okay, yes, I will. I'm gonna name it Lavender because Lavender is like a purple, and you know what? Nidoran Needle King eventually is purple, still like a Nidoran Nidorino and Nidoran male, and its evolutionary change. I like how it's just playing the Pokemon music still. <laughs> Lavender. Lavender. Okay, yeah. There we go. I'm gonna make sure I spelled that right, actually. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, moment. Did I spell that right? Lavender. Yeah, I did spell that right. Okay, yeah. Cool. I thought it was spelled with an AR instead of ER at the end, but uh, it's actually ER. So I looked it up just to make sure. <laughs> okay, so let's try to find the extra Pokemon we need. So yeah. Let's see if we can find it. It's pretty. I think it's pretty common on this route, actually. Now that was a Sparrow level 2. I don't want a Sparrow. So I skipped through the transition there, because I uh, sped through that battle. It was a Nidoran male again, level 2. Here it is, a Mankey, nice. Now Mankey is very overused in Pokemon Yellow, because the first gym is Brock, and you don't have a... You start with Pikachu, basically, and you don't start with Bubbles or, or Squirtle. So, uh... It's kind of, you, I'd recommend you pick up a Mankey just for the first battle. If you don't want to use it after that, then it's okay. I mean, it's after the first gym battle. So, yeah, let's try to catch this thing though. It's level three. Nice. Okay, it's down to a little bit over yeah, uh, half health. So let's choose a Pokemon. Hopefully we can uh, catch it though. One, two, three. Yeah, we caught it. Nice. Awesome. New Pokedex data will be added for Mankey. Okay, Mankey is the pig monkey Pokemon. It's one foot eight inches tall, just like um, just like Nidoran male. <laughs> but it weighs six. This thing weighs sixty-two pounds. Jeez, it's number fifty-six in the Pokedex. An agile Pokemon that lives in trees. It angers easily and will not hesitate to attack anything. Ooh, that's pretty. It's pretty, uh, pretty um, you know, pretty tense, I guess, or pretty timid of a Pokemon, you know. We'll give a nickname to Mankey, yes, of course. I'm gonna name this Mankey Grumpy, because Primates are pretty grumpy. They look pretty grumpy. So, Grumpy, yeah. Grumpy, yeah. So, uh, let's look up the stats for Pokemon. I did it for Pikachu in the last part, I believe, so that's good. Okay, so Lavender's level 2. It's a poison type. You know, its attack is uh, it's all of its stat its attack, defense, speed, and special is seven all across the board. It knows we're in tackle. So yeah, and Grumpy is a le fighting type Pokemon, level three. Its attack is ten, defense is seven, speed is seven, and special is seven. You know, scratch and weir. Cool. So I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal, and then I'm also gonna train everyone up to level ten. Yeah, level 10, okay. So, um, I'm gonna do a little training session. I'll just cut this out, of course. So, I'll see you guys back here when all my Pokemon are level 10 and when they're full healed up and whatnot. So, I'll see you guys in a second. I just fought off a Nidor and Male level 2, but I got all my Pokemon up to level 10, so that's pretty cool. At level 9, Grumpy learned Low Kick. At level 7, I believe, 7 or 8, uh, Lavender learned Horn Attack. And then at, like, level 9 or 10, uh, Storm learned Thunder Wave. So, that's pretty cool. So, let's take on Arrival. Second rival battle, here we go. Nice. Sean says, Hey Steven, you're going to the Pokemon League? Forget about it. Or forget it. You don't you probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get st any stronger? Yes they did. I caught two new more Pokemon to add to my team. And uh, they're level ten my all my Pokemon all three of my Pokemon level ten. Sean. Yeah, there we go. He sends out a Sparrow first. Okay, level 9. Cool. Good thing I have my trusty electric type. My Pikachu. My Storm. Haha. <laughs> Let's go for the Thundershock. Let's see how much this does. It's going to be super effective. And it takes all, uh, puts in the red, basically. Nice. 
Cool. Let's go for another Thundershock then. Nice. It's gonna use it used away on us, but uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay, it's about to use Eevee. Okay, would you like to switch Pokemon? Yes, I'll switch to Grumpy. Because uh, Eevee is a normal type Pokemon, so fighting type moves like Low Kick would be super effective. So yeah. Low Kick attack. It's level 8. Yeah, Eevee's level 8. One hit KO, nice, awesome. Yeah, that was easy. That was easy. Wow. Oh, you just lucked out. Oh, I beat you. You, your Pokemon didn't even hit me, really, because your spell used Leer, and I KO'd your Eevee within one hit. So yeah, thanks for the 280 Poké Dollars, though. I heard Pokemon. I heard po I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. Past them. You should quit dwaddling and get a move on. Who beat you? Who, who won that battle we just had? Me. You are being so cocky, Sean. So cocky. Dang it. Okay, I sped through the transition again. Dang it, I forget. I keep on doing that. Ah, okay, whatever. I'm gonna go heal real quick at the Pokemon Center. Just so my Pokemon are at full health. Even though I didn't really take any damage. I'm kind of paranoid. I don't know. I just... I don't know. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, I kind of wanted the Pokemon Center and said see you guys in a second. But that's okay. It's whatever. It's stuck to you. Ah, I've heard... Ah, I've, now that I've had my coffee now... Now that I have my coffee now, I can, and I feel great. I misread that totally. Okay, sure, you can go through. I'm sorry, I was so rude to you. Uh, you, I didn't even talk to you before. <laughs> I see you're using a Pokedex. I'll show you how to catch Pokemon as my apology. Now, half, you know, half of me is saying, speed up this tutorial. And half of me saying is like, oh man, we should just, uh, we should just, uh, let the guy do his job in the game, you know, teaching us how to catch Pokemon. He throws a Pokeball at Rata at level 5, but it takes three times, but it takes uh, uh, three times, but then breaks out. Okay, shooter was so close to. Okay, that didn't work. I must be losing my touch. I think in Fire Road and Leaf Green, he always catches the Weedle, but uh, in this game, he, ca he doesn't catch the Rata. So yeah, I ran out of Pokeballs too. I have to get some more, get some at the Mart, Pokemart. Yeah, he slowly walks to the Pokemon, yeah. So, uh, let's move on. In Fire Emblem Leaf Green, he gives you the Teachy TV, which is a TV that gives you tutorials on how to do stuff like battle. So they teach you about, like, st uh, status conditions, like poison burn, and stuff like that. Catch teaches you how to catch Pokemon, I guess. Stuff like that. So to avoid this tall grass, I'm gonna go to this pathway right here. And, uh, yeah. Cool. Let's, uh, go through this transitional building. And here we are in the Viridian Forest. Nice. So uh, let's see. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put lavender at front actually, because uh, there's a lot of poison type Pokemon like in this Weedle that use poison sting. And since lavender is a poison type, it's immune to poison. I believe that's still the same thing. It still ca it still is effective in um for Gen One games in the Gen One games. Like if your Pokemon is half poison or part or fully poison, then it can't get poisoned. Hopefully that's the case. Because uh, Grumpy and Storm are kind of if I had like a Flying type or something or fire type would be easy to go through the forest, but I don't so at least for now So, uh, yeah I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been my Pokemon yellow walk the guide part the Next part will take on the Viridian forest and maybe if we have time we can just do the Peter City gym actually if we have time to on how fast I can get through the Viridian forest, but we'll see So yeah, so this is Drago again I would like to thank you for goodbye and I'll see you guys next on my Pokemon yellow walkthrough guide